My name's Alan Hart and in today's video I'm going to show you how to install the Trapex magnetic filter onto your central heating system. The filter we've got today is the Genesis filter and this is the one without the valves. They also do a version with the valves and that will depend on your needs and which one suits you better. So as I say, what we're going to do, we're going to install this one onto the central heating system. First of all, first thing we're going to do, we're going to drain the system down and we're going to cut into this pipework. Do you need a magnetic filter for your central heating system? Well, in my opinion, it's definitely a good idea. Inside your boiler, you've got key components like pumps, diverter valves, plate heat exchangers, and a central heating filter will help to protect them. So what we'll do, we'll just strip this down. I'll show you what this filter is. So this is the one without the valves on. We take this filter apart. We can see we've got three O-rings inside on this filter. So we've got two on the body. And we've also got one inside there. So no chance of that leaking. If we take the filter apart there, we can see we've got a 10,000 gauze magnet inside. And then we've got a really good drain off valve on the bottom. So we can drain that. But we'll have a look at that in a, in a bit more detail later on. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna turn the power off to the boiler and then we're gonna drain the system down. So if we go to the radiator, you can see on here, we've got a drain off. So we'll just get this hose, put this hose onto it, and then we'll just open the drain off and then we can just drain it down. So we've drained the system down now. Now we check it just to make sure that it is drained down. So if you've got a pressure gauge, just have a look on pressure gauge. We don't want any nasty surprises when we cut into the pipework. Also, if we look on the box, we can see it's got a detailed diagram on there and it shows you how much to cut out. Also, we want to just make sure that we've got the correct clearances above. So if we've got to take the magnet out afterwards, make sure that we've got the correct clearances for that. We're now going to mark the pipe and then we're going to cut it out. So now we're going to cut out 72 millimetres. So we've cut the pipe work out now and now we're going to install the filler. What I normally do is just take the nut off from the bottom and just put that onto the pipe work. You could put a bit of jointing compound around this as well if you wanted to. This has got a slip socket on here and this will slip on to the bottom of the boiler or bottom of the pipe work here. It's important to remember that this is the return pipe and this the flow of the water is going this way back into the boiler. On the filter it's got an arrow on there so we need to make sure that that arrow is pointing back to the boiler and we'll just get that slip socket in there and then what we'll do then we'll just pull the pipe work up and then we'll just tighten that up so we've tightened all that up now and then what we do we would go back to your boiler and just repressurize your boiler Make sure you go around as well and get all the air out of the system. So if you've got any air, you can go around and bleed the radiators. And then we can turn the boiler on. What do we think to this filter? Well, it's a brass bodied filter, so you're not gonna have no issues with them leaking. It's got a strong magnet on here. As we can see here, clearances, we've got enough clearance underneath the boiler to get the magnet out afterwards. If you're gonna come and do a service on this as well, it's got a really good connection on the bottom and it's actually got that part of it on there will connect into the valve to open and close the valve. So it's really good for servicing. A little tip from me as well, if you've got a washing machine hose in your tools, you can connect that onto the bottom of there. So if you're gonna go do a service, you can have a little bucket with your washing machine hose, and then you can just flush the filter out. But let me know what you think in comments below. If you've enjoyed this video today, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And we'll see you on the next video.